Cancer. Tell me what the answer is today, baby. It is me, bro. It is she, bro. It is Vera. It is me. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed. One time for the one time for the new year, baby. Yes, indeed. 2020. It is show me the money time, baby. Please believe it. Yes, we are in the season of receiving. You hear me, Cancer? Come on now. Through what the signs? Yes, God. All right. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to everyone for sending their positive energy and love and light over here at Scorpion Red Tarot. Um, if these videos resonate with you, make sure that you hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. If, the, if these videos resonate and you want additional guidance, you can book with me by sending me a message on Instagram or by booking through my, uh, my booking page. All that information as well as support methods if you want to support if these videos resonate and the spirit moves you where you want to you know send a dollar or two just to say thank you or to help you know purchase some new cars or help with some equipment if the spirit moves you all of that information and how to do so is in the about tab booking and all of that stuff if you have any questions or just want to reach out to me and talk to me you can have it hit me up on instagram like i said or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com all right, so I do video chats. So um, the best method to get in contact with me will be on Instagram or on Google Hangouts. And as you know, with Google Hangouts, only thing you need is my email, which again is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So shout out to everyone that I booked. Uh, that have booked personal private readings with me, but we have our own personal connection. And shout out to everyone that. I will gain a connection with. Um, I appreciate all y'all. Thank you so much for showing love and light over here to my page. So, if you're new to the page, um, we always say a prayer before we get into the energy and just thank God and or the Creator, whoever that you you know pray to and you give thanks to. Thanks for you know bringing us all here collectively today. So, Father God, thank you so much for coming through here and um, giving us guidance and holding us together collectively and giving us wisdom nourishment and the daily bread to keep us going every day father god we had a successful and triumphant year in 19 we had some major changes we slid on past a lot of roadblocks that try to delay us you know we ain't gonna let nothing get in our way father god in 2020 and show me the money time father god and we are here now today to thank you for the blessings that you got prepared for us tomorrow because we already know <laughs> it's going to be some major blessings ahead on this road in 2020 so father god we thank you right now we ask you for wisdom and guidance on our steps that are ahead of us and Help us stay focused and stay encouraged on our path, Father God. Please give us guidance today. And thank you so much for the wisdom and the blessings and the lessons from yesterday. Today where we stand and for, you know, the days ahead. Please give us guidance for my signs of cancers for January 2020. Thank you so much. This is the year. Show me the money. Amen. Let's get it. All right. Let's get it, you guys. Come on. So this is um the architects archetypes deck. This was donated to the channel by one of my loves um on from the Amazon wish list. So shout out to all my babies that have sent uh get oh and especially this in between deck that we will be using today, the in between tarot deck that was sent to me for my birthday. Thank you guys so so much for the support and love. Cause trust me. These decks are the bomb. You will see. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's take that. Okay, you said the lovers. Okay, that's the lovers that flew out on the table. Why weren't that? Okay. So listen, we got the lovers here, Cancer. Mmm. That ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. It seemed like somebody grew up. <laughs> 19 was a hell of a month. Long and long. Oh my God. Okay, we came through some major roadblocks and we jumped over some hurdles and we, listen, we won and got justice in some major trials of 19. Oh, that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. We went through a shadow period in our life. We had to go in, 
look deep inside, see what type of growth and development that we need to do to get to where we wanted to be. And we were patient with ourselves and we allowed ourselves to grow to become something so beautiful and something so loving. And it seems like not only have you stepped up and started loving yourself and you blossomed into this beautiful, beautiful swan, baby. Oh, but it's somebody on your line. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is someone who's definitely went through a whole lot of changes. They had a period of their life where, you know, it was just an ugly period. It was an ugly stage, but they needed to go through that for growth. We got the stone here. The stone. I feel like this is solid. Being rock solid. Solidarity. Being firm. You know? The hunter. <laughs> the vision. And then what is this? The starborn. <laughs> to hold the hell up. Now this is a lot here. This is this. Oh, Cancer, come through with the answer, baby. Come through with the answer. So with this hunter in the stone, in the vision, with the starborn. I told you. Didn't I told you you the ugly duckling grew up to be a swan? Didn't I tell you? You went through a shadow pa a shadow phase, and now you in the light that you done rebirth into a starborn, <laughs> beautiful child of the earth. Ooh. Okay. Is that a confirmation? Listen, we've been rebirthed with a whole new vision. The hunter. This is that Mustang. This is that stallion energy. You got a lot of horsepower in you. You are rushing forward and you moving towards something and you're hunting and gathering. And it looks like you have this stone. Not only are you solid as a rock, but I feel like this is also a form of protection as well. You know, someone coming at you with something, you gonna hit them with that stone. <laughs> you gonna throw that rock right at their head and hop on your horse and keep on going. <laughs> Oh, you, you know what Spirit just told me? Um, you don't throw stones in glass houses. Right? Isn't that a saying? Don't throw stones in glass houses like or something like that. So, with that being said, that's, don't throw stones in, in, in glass houses. It's something about being transparent. I feel like Right now, Cancer is in a stage where they've blossomed. If Especially for the Cancer males, if there was ever a point in your life where you just felt like you was in the streets, you was just chasing, 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 doing whatever, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? You know how men, y'all had y'all little stage where y'all just out there being a little playboy, y'all just playing and stuff like that. Y'all are not ready to settle down. Like, this is someone... That now has vision. And I feel like with this stone, they got perfect aim. Because to have the only weapon for you to have is the stone. Because there's the sword in here as well. For it to be the stone, you have to have perfect aim. Because this is someone that's the hunter. They're moving, 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 moving. They're not hopping off their horse to fight with nobody. They're going to aim with that stone. They're going to have perfect aim. Blah! Going to hit you right in the middle of your eye. Knock you right off your goddamn ankle. <laughs> Ankle's going to go brr. <laughs> going to get weak as shit. Blah! Going to hit your ass. You know what I'm saying? With something real solid. Something that's going to sit your ass down and make you think about it. <laughs> Because it's something out there that's where that you hunting and gathering. You got a vision. You the star born. You have a different purpose in life right now. And I really do feel like this purpose is y'all are open to love right now. And you're solid as a rock about it. You're solid about this vision, about where you see your life. 
I just heard a night vision. Because it's owl. It's like, don't owl have a night vision? It, 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 I just, okay. You want, it's night vision because it's like, I gotta see them coming. You know, it's night stalkers. What the fuck does that have to do anything? Okay, so I'm getting with this owl. I seen this owl and it's night vision because it's night stalkers. And it's like you need to have pristine, crystal clear vision in the night because. Like, you know, like how they say nothing, nothing good lurks in the dark or something like that. The Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. There's a woman in this environment. Um, could be um, an air sign. What is that? Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. That is just a very ma masculine dominant uh type of energy controlling i really do not like the queen of swords in this deck i really do not like the queen of swords in this deck what is and then the king of fucking cups this was the same shit that just came out in the gemini reading and i y'all just seen me shuffle these cards my nigga and I did the I did the Gemini reading. I think this came this ever came out in Gemini or Aries reading. <laughs> Confirmation. Okay. Um I did this I did those readings days ago. And I've used these cards so much since then. Clarify this Queen of Swords and this King of Cups. This King of Cups is like emotionally it's like their emotions are cold for some reason. It's like They're sticking to how they feel about something. Two of Wands. This is someone looking into the future. Um, and this is the, the, the Two of Wands going to the Three of Wands. So, you know, the Three of Wands is basically someone making movement, leaving something behind. The Two of Wands is someone weighing their options and, and trying to figure out what the best action is should I stay or should I go you know um and then this is depicting it's like someone it's like they're trying to manifest some type of balance here with this two of wands and, and it's like they're trying to pull off some type of juggling act here um it's almost like they're a part of a circus or something like that. But it's like they're trying to manifest some type of balance. I feel like this King of Cups right here, which is the water sign. And then the Page of Swords. This King of Cups right here is trying to establish a connection with their intuition with spirit um i feel like they're searching for like they're searching for this person is searching for that third eye chakra that intuition and kind of kick in and it, it, it's this person is trying to keep their self balanced with juggling with whatever is in front of them but at the same time They're juggling and trying to balance their life in their growth at the same time. And I feel like this is something that they're learning to do flawlessly. I, this King of Cups 
And it has something to do with a child. You see this man is holding a baby. It's something that has to do with an air sign woman that is very aggressive, very dominant. Where this person does not know how to feel about the birth of a child. Or about the birth of a child. And maybe the birth of this child, maybe that's the star born. Maybe this baby is like the gift. Maybe this 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 baby is the gift that this King of Cups never had. And maybe the birth of this star born child opened this person up to have the vision to be that hunter to really go out there and go get it and to have that kind of warrior drive almost this person is 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 solid now this person is regrouping itself but it's it's like the baby is the baby everything is all right with the baby it's this energy right here that's bothering me right now i really do not like this i don't like this this energy here and just like I pointed out with the other, I think it was the Gemini reading, like, this person has, like, a village of kids, a whole bunch of different kids behind them. It's like, and this person is so aggressive and so domineering and just controlling. And it's, like, almost like you're, have, you're dealing with the energy of, like, a macho man, very argumentative and stuff like that. And this is even the Queen of Swords upright, but it's, it's still, it's not giving me, uh and then they go that egg. Look, they go the egg, the starborn. So, you know, a cancer could possibly have had a, a child, as you can see, this child. But it's this this is something upside down about this. Like, I don't why am I getting the same fucking story? But I feel like I'm getting it from now I'm getting it from the water signs aspect. I feel like this this male energy right here has put their sword down. They don't they don't really have too much to say. I feel like if there was any type of arguments going on here, this person doesn't really have anything to say to if there's arguments going on. As you can see, this person has laid down their sword. Right now, the only thing that the cancer is trying to listen to right now is God, <laughs> like spirit, like their intuition. Tell me what I should do. Tell me what I should go. Tell me how I should feel, what I should listen to. Help me understand my own knowing. You know, you know, you see all the doves around them. It's like this person just wants peace. This person just wants to be able to like strengthen their faith and their intuition because I feel like they're trying to pull off a juggling act right now. And while they're juggling all of the bullshit that's going on, they're trying to find some type of peace and balance. This person is trying to manifest peace and peace and balance in their life, regardless of, of, of everything else that's going on around them. Um, give me one more for this uh, King of Cups here. always has some complicated story the hierophant in the reverse and then the four cups and then that fell over there so I'm gonna keep that over there so this person you know and the reason why I feel like <sighs> I feel like it's this child it's this child in the mix right The cancer has the vision on what this what this baby needs. This baby is precious. This per this baby was meant to be here and has an anointment and a gift on this child. This is a starborn child. I, I I'm getting like this man is even willing to 
maybe take on the responsibility of this baby on their own without it's it, it's like I, it, it, this man just wish he didn't have the aggression and the responsibility of kind of like having to deal with her and her trying to be the man when he's it's like someone not allowing the man to be the man where it's like he's almost shut down and you know how I can't say well they'll go in there shell on you you know what I'm saying so I feel like this cancer has shut down and I said to set their sword down and then just looking for spiritual guidance because it's like I'm done talking, you know, like I'm 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 done talking. I'm done talking. If there if there was a marriage, if there was a commitment there, it's not there no more. Like there was most definitely a breakup. There was a divorce here. Because with this four of cups, both of y'all got your backs turned to each other. Neither one of you guys are interested in each other at all. I don't I mean I don't even feel like y'all are offering anything to each other at all. I really I feel like it's but through this situation this ugly duckling this ugly duckling grew up to be a swan even though the King of Cups is in the reverse, I feel like the King of Cups is in the reverse due to the situation. But as a man, as a man, this man might have came into this situation here. Yes, as the King of Cups in the reverse. You know, the King of Cups in, in the reverse is a playboy, is, you know, uh, 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 the girl damn sugar. You feel me? That's that. That's what the King of Cups, like all the ladies want the king of cups y'all are handsome y'all are very poetic y'all are caring y'all are nurturing y'all know how to just love and just uh 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 you understand what i'm saying like the true love of a cancer man that is something that once you really experience on a high level baby it is a you cannot forget it but once it goes bad and they wall their self up or they go in the shell on you or for whatever reason if they're just not a mature cancer and they all over the place they are like i said the girl them sugar and they're not in that faithful commitment stage and they're not ready you know what i'm saying for love a man has to be ready for love you understand this person through this experience right here that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. No man is perfect. No man is perfect. And we're not asking y'all to be perfect because we're not perfect. Clearly, look at this one. Look at this. This is supposed to be a feminine. <laughs> this is the queen of swords. A masculine energy with an army of children behind him and a sword up, ready to attack. In the big egg behind them, you know, like it's, it's like, this is like the single mother, like their aggression, their dominance, their reasoning for feeling like they always have to beat a man down and uh, 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 verbally demean and defame and 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 belittle and demasculate that's the reason why this person has all of these children and fertile like myrtle uh, uh, keep getting pregnant keep getting pregnant but don't ever have no man around it has to be both the man and the woman that's what this card says to me you know and only thing you want to do is argue and fight what is this the five of coins a state of lack lack mentality you know and at the end of the day it's it this man feels like only thing this person wants is money and charity someone to take care of them and their many kids look how many kids this person has and then this is the women's refuge so i don't know if like this is someone on like some type of um government assistance or something like that or or you know like the women that they on government assistance and stuff but they do like little 
other stuff like they do hair or they do like other stuff like that or they scammers or something so but like in the neighborhood they got all the little name brand stuff on or whatever they fly and everything like that but for real they ain't got no job they be hustling they be like that's that i don't know like that's what i don't know that's what i'm getting that is what i'm getting the woman's refuge the five of the five of coins going into the six of coins the six of coins is Someone looking for a handout, for a favor, um, looking for a gift, looking for some type of financial assistance. If you remember the, the, I mean, this is a woman refuge, someone coming in, someone who's in a five of coins. Five of, five of pentacles is someone sick, homeless, <laughs> financially bankrupt, jobless. Um, don't have any, just, I mean, just basically have fallen on bad luck. So I don't know if this is someone like, I don't know, like, I, I feel like this is public assistance. I feel like public assistance. That's what I'm feeling. Like a whole bunch of kids, no man aggressive baby and egg so I don't know if there's another child coming or if this child if this woman if this woman is trying to have another child on top of the kids that they already have or if they just had a baby or if there's another child coming or but yeah you gotta watch out for that one cuz it's like you gotta watch out for that one you gotta watch out for that one Give me more guidance on her, please. But then there's there's this lack mentality thing right there with this person, too. What is this? The Ace of Wands. New beginning. It's like... And then what is this? The Lovers in Reverse. But there's, like, cheating. There's, like, there's cheating. And then that's going into the chariot. So the lovers is going into the chariot. And the chariot and the lovers are both in the reverse. So you know when the chariot is in the reverse, that's something that's definitely not going anywhere. There's no emotional balance. There's no commitment. There's no honor. There's no faith. There's no real point of destination is just like people just driving around aimlessly going nowhere because you don't you know what I'm saying like there's no balance your car's not tuned up it's not a quick to drive but so far and and you know the ace of wands could, could also represent like just sex like it's a situation based off of off of Love, passion, sex, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person right here, I definitely feel like there was. Give me guidance on her, cause this this kid right here, cause this is getting uh -uh. cause y'all making me go all out of order. How I was doing everybody else's readings because I'm like I took like two three days off and cancel got to do it to me. They just got to do it to me. Contrary, displeasure. There's like a level of displeasure here, and then what is this? Faithfulness, affection. There's some level of displeasure about the level of commitment and faithfulness here. It's the lovers in reverse. Country house pensioner. 
So, what I'm getting here. The pensioner. It's like you just buying your time. It's okay. So, I feel like this person here, whoever this woman is here. I don't feel like this person is like committed to a relationship per se. I feel like there was a mutual connection because the king of hearts, like this man is giving of his heart and things like that. There could have been a situation where you two worked with each other with these two clubs. The clubs represent work, so you guys could have worked with each other. So there was a mutual attraction. I feel like you guys might have moved a distance from everyone where you have this city house and all of this stuff like that. And um, I feel like together, money is good. And that's the reason, honestly, why there is... This level a need of control or something because I feel like this woman needs the money. I feel like before like this kind of came together right here, this person was on public assistance. But with this six of coins, this is someone giving help, giving aid. You know what I'm saying? The ace of wands. This all began behind sex. You know what I'm saying? This was all sex. But there was no faithfulness and commitment. There was definitely someone there cheating. That's why I'm saying there was displeasure and contrary. You know what I'm saying? Contrary to what everyone is thinking, it seems, you know, they don't they moved and they got this house and they work with each other, or there's some level where with this two this some level on some level there's some level where there's two people working together faithfulness like you're this person's like faithful companion like whoever whoever the male energy is like this woman looks at you like not i don't want to say that like you're you're their lap dog do you understand what i'm saying they this person kind of needed you and y'all money to come together to get this home. And, you know, there was mutual feelings and stuff like right there. But at the same time with this pensioner here, there goes this, this, this man with this dog. It's like the pensioner paying a pension. It's like you're paying into something now for a bigger reward later, you know. So if this displeasure card wasn't here, I, if this displeasure card wasn't here, if this five of pentacles wasn't here and if this lover card in the reverse wasn't here and if this queen of swords cards wasn't here looking all crazy like that I would have read this differently but contrary to popular belief even though it seems everything is good everything is kind of more financial based with this you know nine of diamonds here it's about financial gain you know, there's a displeasure between the two of these people, honestly. And I feel like it just kind of works together. It kind of works. There, everything would have worked together if there was faithfulness there. This one right here is not faithful. The lovers in reverse. More than one lover. This whole situation was just sex-based anyway. I feel like y'all worked together or y'all worked well together and y'all both wanted to move and this person is just loving and giving and was willing to pay into it. So she's like, okay, cool. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But there was no commitment. There's still with that five of pentacles, there's still a lack mentality there where this person kind of like doesn't know their worth because... I'm trying to tell you like this person does not know their worth. You see all of those kids? Like you see all of those fucking kids? Like this person has like a whole bunch of different kids by like a whole bunch of different people. Tidal wave. Disturbance. <laughs> 
give me guidance, dear Lord Cancer. Why they got it? Why always you all the time? Brown, ground and stability, foundation. Like there was a disturbance in the foundation. Something rushed in like a goddamn tidal wave. Something disturbed the stability in the foundation. In this, in this situation right here. That's what I'm saying. Like regardless of what it looked like to the outside world. They're, it, they're not faithful to each other at all. Especially not on this end. I don't necessarily see on this end. I just see that this one doesn't want to be with this person anymore. And they're searching for guidance and trying to figure out. Because there's, there's a child. There's children. There's children. <laughs> you know what? And this person is like, I love myself. I'm solid on my beliefs right now. The hunter. I'm <laughs> confirmation again. I'm solid on my beliefs right now. Like I know my worth. Look, I've searched. I stopped communicating with this person. I put my sword down. I'm just searching for my inner voice. My inner voice. Me to be rooted and grounded and use my gut. You know what I'm saying? Going off my gut energy. Like this this person is... <laughs> all of these bells and shit. Like this person is just now realizing that gut feeling is their intuition. And it's like I need to open up my third eye vision and my gut instinct so I can start listening. So I can be more aware of what's going on. I really do feel like this one wants to kind of like take this baby and go like they don't even want to deal like whatever is being offered he don't want nothing from her she don't want nothing from him like they don't want to look at each other they don't really want to deal with each other no more but I feel like they have to do because of these kids and yeah and this person thought that this one was going to continue to buy into it even though that they were sneaking around and being unfaithful but this one said uh uh I know my worth I ain't doing that. What's this? The belt. Punishment. But this was in the reverse. And I'm going to have to take that. I feel like the punishment is stopping. Like whatever type of disturbance to the foundation that was being had, what whatever type of punishment that this one was trying to dish out. Look at this one. Don't this one look like this one is trying to dish out some type of like punishment or abuse or inflict some type of pain on somebody? Whatever the hell this person was trying to do, like the punishment is stopping. Whatever that was, it's not being allowed anymore. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Tell me what's going on over here with the King of Cups, please. What's going on with the Cancer? He has his back turned to the Aquarius, Libra, a Gemini. Seems like the disturbance and the punishment is about to end. Or it can be vice versa. I don't know if this King of Cups is... I, but I... It, 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 see. Okay, so let me read it this way. Because it could be this way. Because the King of Cups in the reverse could also be someone, like I said, is just like emotionally all over the place. I gotta read the cards the way the cards is there. The unfaithfulness is over here. But at the same time, this one could have been cheating. But this one's the one that wanted the divorce. This is the one that's searching for guidance. This is the one that's turning it back on this one. This one is the one that's trying to juggle dealing with this shit and trying to find spiritual guidance. This one is the one that's emotionally shut down. No, I got it. But y'all, y'all, y'all take it how it resonates. It could be vice versa. Y'all get it, okay? All right, whatever. Cause I can't, I can't try to read the cards a different way. Like it's clear this energy on this side versus the energy on this side. It's clear. I can't like try to read a different way that it's just not there. Give me guidance on the Cancer. What is this? Oh, weakness, malady. Yeah. 
Cassie, you gotta, you have to stand up for yourself. If you want the abuse and the punishment to stop, if you want the this person to stop causing a disturbance in your stability, in your foundation, in you being grounded, that's what you're trying to pray for. That's what you're manifesting. You're trying to open up your third eye and your root chakra, you know? I feel like you're trying to get your communication together. Like this hard fit in the verse. They don't want to deal with this person anymore. There's no commitment. There's there's no love. There's no honor. There's control. There's a there's there's this it's not good. It's not. It's just not good. The eight of space represents literally someone like on a sick bed, someone needing to take their time a time out, someone possibly that's it suffered some type of abuse or trauma or turmoil where they might need to seek some like ab abuse therapy counseling um you know like domestic abuse counseling uh uh or, or you could like physically be sick like need to go to the doctor get tested uh like you know like stuff like that you know what i'm saying like this person looks like he got the pox and shit. Like, I'm sorry. I don't mean to go that. But, like, his skin don't look good. It's like... You look dehydrated. You look sick. Like, you haven't been eating and drinking water. Like, you, you haven't been drinking water. Like, you've been probably, like, drinking liquor, liquor or beer. And, like, smoking and drinking and doing everything. Because it's like you're stressed. It's like... If you don't take care of yourself and get a mental break from this, because that's why I feel like this King of Cups and this in the river, you're going to collapse. Like, and I feel like this is someone that's working too hard. <laughs> I have many dings and confirmations that I want to get. It's like, you got to take care of yourself, baby. Like, you're, you're not drinking enough water, you're not eating, you're not getting enough sleep, you're just going, 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 and then, like, eventually it's going to catch up to you, and you're going to end up in the hospital if you don't slow down and, like, talk to somebody about what it is that you're fit. <laughs> You got to talk to somebody about what you're feeling because cancers are, the, the, this king of cups, he's keeping all of these emotions and everything inside. And I feel like it might be some level of embarrassment because of little shorty right here. It's, it's like this person is embarrassed of this person and what this person is experiencing and the control, the manipulation, the abuse and like this cancer does not want to deal with this shit like no more like it almost it's about to make me cry like it, it when he this person is alone he probably does cry do you understand what I'm saying this person makes him sick do you understand what I'm saying and I feel like it's like he's, he has, he's forced to deal with this person because of the kids. Uh, but he needs to, he needs to take care of himself. Um, he needs to take care of himself so that he can be there for his child. Um, and let me not say that because I don't want to say that. Even though you might not know how to feel about this child, because that's what. Even though you might not know how to feel about this child, like you love this child. I feel like it's about the way that, it's not nothing about the child per se. It's about maybe the way the child came into play or something. All these children. Only, only thing I just, I just, I just keep looking at this picture of all of these fucking children. It's like six kids, right there. It's like five, six kids. 
It's going to be a visit. Clarify this visit by someone that you really love. You see how he's pulling out this seat and he's telling someone to take a seat? It's like you're going to bump into somebody. You're going to bump into someone. And this is the this, the six of um hearts. This is like the male. This is the masculine. The divine masculine energy. It's like the divine masculine energy. It's like giving doting, sweeping gestures. That it's like... Uh, um. Maybe see you gonna have on a tie or something. It's like I don't know if you're gonna see this person while you're out to eat, while you're doing something. It's like you're real dressed up, you're gonna bump into this person and it's just gonna be like boom, just like Cupid, it's just gonna hit you all over again and you're just gonna fall in love again. Like whatever that feeling of love is that you've experienced before in your life you going to experience that all over again and it's like you're going to ask this person to sit down and take a seat let's let's sit down and have lunch and then the um the jack of hearts thoughts thoughts this is someone that you've had thoughts about the seven of hearts represent a second chance um the 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 start is something new and a chance to do something all over again. Oh. And then what is this? The sweet card. The ace of hearts. Like this is a whole bunch of heart shit. <laughs> this is a lot of love. <laughs> this is a lot of love right here. Like I feel like you guys are gonna like bump into Someone that you wanted a second chance with. Someone that you've had thoughts about. Someone that this masculine energy really loves. Look, number one. Listen, you see that number one right there? Whoever the number one love is in their life. I, this has to be someone that you know. Because for it to be a visit, this is someone that you already know. Hold on, excuse me, guys. Um, Excuse me, I'm recording. Yes, yes, thank you. I'm recording. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, let me hurry up and wrap this shit up anyway. So listen. Um, I feel like this male is emotionally sick. Let me see. What's the outcome between these two right here, please? Give me the outcome between the water sign and the air sign, please. What's the outcome between the water sign and the air sign, please? Whoa, whoa. Presence. That's good. That's the nine. So, I feel... Okay, so the nine of clubs is basically... Like someone being rewarded or gifted or acknowledged at work or something like that. Someone's going to get some type of gift or honor at work a sincere friend so number two number one and number two <laughs> 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 that's not funny slim thugging slim thugging anyway as you can see this is the number two card this is the sincere friend i feel like the the outcome between these two i feel like at the end of the day they're going to figure out how to right now their relationship with each other ain't shit i don't even feel like these people are talking to each other I, and this person is like emotionally sick dealing with this person and I don't know if this... It looks like this is the one that has the baby. 
I don't know if the man is the one that has the baby, is the one that's taking care of the baby now, and I don't know if she just has her legion of other kids or something. I don't know. But the starborn is over here, okay? And the starborn is over here with the vision and the hunter. Regardless, the general energy for this cancer is this person is in love. This person is in love with itself. This person is in love with their life. This person is solid and is hunting and has a vision on where they're going and they have their star born. And, I, and this person is in the best. That ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. I feel like this is what this person is balancing, This what this person is juggling. This Cancer is not allowing this energy to cause a tidal wave of disturbance in their life. That's what this person is trying to do, though. Cause a tidal wave and a disturbance in the Cancer's grounding, stability, and foundation. This person wants the Cancer to be weak. Wants to be an absolute fucking nightmare and a headache. A walking, living, breathing headache to this cancer and I, that's why I, I feel like that's why this he don't know how to feel about this baby because it's like you know you know how sometimes um because it's he's tired of the beating he's tired of the abuse he's tired of manipulation he's tired of the lies he's he's like bitch you're not about to fucking you ain't about to give me no shit whoever this 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 right here this is someone only thing they really care about is sex Everything was sex based. <laughs> Is this another fucking like we cannot? We cannot with this. Like, come on. Everything with this part, this world, this person with worlds revolves around sex. Grabbing the wood, having a hand on some wood. <laughs> Let me stop. It's five of coins. This person don't know their word. This person don't even really love their self to love nobody else. That's why they're in a state of need of assistance. Look at this legion of kids. Look at this person's energy. What man wants to marry that? What man wants to marry that? This legion of kids. Going to the woman's refuge. Looking for help because you don't have no man with all of these fucking kids. It's because of your energy. It's because of your energy. And at the end of the day, it's like, I, I just like, I'm sorry because I got, I, I, I can't, I, I can't. I really wish this love is wasn't in the reverse because I could read to you a whole totally different story over here. I really could, but I can't. I can't. And in this tidal wave and... The pensioner, the renter, the renter, and then like the contrary to popular belief card, displeasure. If there's displeasure here, this shit is really about financial base type of shit. It's about financial progression. That's what the nine of... Let me get the fuck out of here. Anyway, but basically what this is about right here... The general energy was going to happen between the two of them. I feel like the gift at the end of the day, they're going to have to learn how to co-parent if there's children there. If there's not children there, these people must work with each other because there's a lot of clubs here. This is represents work. So these people are going to end up having to work it out and just end up being sincere friends between the two of them. And I feel like that's what's going to be offered because right now ain't nothing being offered. You know what I'm saying? But the eventual outcome is a divorce because these people were clearly with each other is a divorce with this hierophant in the in the because this person is <laughs> searching for separation. How to set this separate themselves from this person and how to find some mental clarity and balance and stuff like that. Cause they don't want to offer anything to this person at all. But this person is is I feel like they're going to be shocked. They're going to be shocked. Love is going to hit this person again. Um, I don't think I gave this deck a chance over here. And then I'm up out of here. Because I always go over on fucking can Cancer always got... Cancer always got a telenovela going on. I didn't read it. Why? <clears throat> Cancer always 
Cancer always got telenovela popper on. Cancer, uh, Taurus, Gemini, Libra. <laughs> always some telenovela. Oh, and Pisces. Always telling no goddamn value. Oh, the snake, Lord Jesus. Child, give me guidance about the snake. No oh, shit. <coughs> oh, mm, mm, mm. you going through. You're going to continuously go through cycles with this snake, with this snake here, and look at that. Don't that look like a? Uh, that look like a fucking condom or something. Like I don't know. I mean, that look like. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Look, okay. Use some condoms. If you still having sex with this person. Use a fucking condom. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Then you got the Ivy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cancer, Jesus. Please. Oh, my God. And that's why I'm... Okay, so let me go back. Because now I got to go back, Cancer. Because y'all not going to listen. Because I'm trying to tell you, this person right here know that they got control over you. That you a fucking simp. They know that... There, this person's going to continue to be a fucking thorn in your ass. It's going to be a nightmare because this person look at you like you weak. Like you weak, like you a simp. This person got control over you. You trying to give this person with a sincere friendship and shit like that. But this bitch like, no, motherfucker. You going to give me this dick. You going to give me this dick. The whole time you giving me this dick, I'm about to pop another baby out. And I got your motherfucking ass. I'm going to cling to your ass like Ivy. Your ass ain't going no motherfucking where. Look, the veil. This person has a hidden agenda. You trying to get away and get uh, peace, tranquil you know, tranquility and all that shit. But baby girl ain't having it. Profound lessons is about to be learned. Do you understand what I'm saying? It says profound lessons are at hand. Completions of a cycle is near. Listen, this is about survival right now. But this survival is in the is in the reverse. It's like someone trying to control your survival almost. 777. It says rapid soul developments come from challenging times. You better watch your fucking self, Cancer. What is this shit right here? Listen. Gray area, depressed, detached, unemotional. That's why this cancer, that's why this king of cups is in the I gotta go. I can't. I can't. Cancer, please watch yourself. Look at this. Look at this. Didn't I told you that this woman, her, this woman's whole world revolves around sex? Whole world revolves around sex. That's how this person. How, how you think that they got that legion of different kids? I'm gone. I'm gone. Goodbye.